Jim Walker, the commanding general of the District of Columbia National Guard, spoke to Good Morning America about the heightened security. Can you start out by saying what the current threat level is? Do you have what you need in place to counter it? Good morning, uh, sir. I do believe we have everything. Uh, if I can first say um, happy holiday for Dr. Martin Luther King, and please allow me to say how proud I am of the almost 20 5,000 National Guardsmen who have come in from all 50 states and territories to help support the Secret Service and the police departments that with a peaceful transition of military power. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Thank you for that, sir. So, so, the, so the question was, do I have enough? Yes, yes sir. I believe we do. And, and tell us what the role of the National Guard you, is going to be. You just said they're going to be there to assist law enforcement. Are they trained for policing activities? What can they do? What can't they do? What are they trained for? So we're trained uh, principally for civil disturbance. We, we um, practice it yearly. We, re we rehearse it when we get here. So we are the backup uh, layer of protection for the Secret Service, the Capitol Police, the Metropolitan, Metropolitan Police Department, and the United States Park Police. So we are uh, a part of the layered defense to ensure that the bubble, the bubble that will be around the Vice President and the, the Vice President-elect and the President-elect so that we can have a peaceful transfer of power. We do this every four years. Uh, not in this kind of uh, force, so not with these kind of numbers. Not, not with these kind of numbers, uh, but I, I would tell you that uh, we've had uh, close to 10,000 in the past. Tell me, the Secretary of the Army says that guard deployed in the Capitol will be screened for possible insider threats. Can that be done this quickly? We have the technology. We, we do that uh, every four years as well. So what happens is they're screened before they leave their state. And, the, and what it is, uh, is a credentialing process. So they're screened and then they're repeatedly screened um, uh, until they are actually put on the street. So what, what does that entail? And even are then they you asked can if pull they, somebody off. What, what does that entail? Are they asked if they believe this was a legitimate election? Questions like that? No, it's all about their secure, the, the background. So a, a regular background ground check is enhanced uh, with more, more screening, more details, and it's layered. So the FBI is part of it, the Secret Service is part of it. And, and once they are uh, certain that the, there's no insider threat, then that uh, soldier, a guardsman or airman uh, is given a credential. What does it say to you about the situation we're facing today that soldiers have to be screened for an insider threat? Well, we already screen to join the United States military. You go through a series of, of uh, background checks. So every, every guardsman, every military person is screened to make sure that we know our uh, soldiers and airmen. So it's just another uh, layer and then a layer on top of that just to be absolutely certain. But everybody joining the military is screened in and for an event like this, you're screened out. Are you confident you have the situation in hand? I am, sir. Major, thanks for your time this morning. And our thanks